come on. Okay, as you know, this over here is my place. It's the Holy Moly Donut Shop, huh? Say to me, guys, Holy Moly Donut Shop. Holy Moly Donut Shop. You are not rocking with Flyboy Radio, the best in culture, it's the best in the world. It's a period of call that was a hip hop you tune live with Flyboy Radio, the best in culture, the best in the world. <laughs> we back like good crap, man. This is Magical Sounds of Stevie Wonder on the first show of the year. Uh, for 2014, I do apologize to the people. You know, I haven't been here for a little while. Um, just because I've been extra busy, got a new job, had to study for a state licensing exam. Um, and just having hectic between that and, and uh, being a father, all that, all, all the things that you do in life. Um, so that's the reason why I've been away. You know, I do apologize. And then not only that, like, I think I kind of got scared a little bit to do the show by myself because... Uh, I always had the dynamic with King Joe the Great since he came on to the show. I started the show by myself, but we started to develop an interesting, you know, kind of one two punch combination. So I was used to that for a while. So I, was, I think I was a little bit scared to do a show by myself just because I haven't um, had a lot of time since he's left the show to do that. I've done a couple shows by myself, but I know they weren't as the greatest. It's just getting back into that swing of being a one man show, being extra creative like I, I've always have been and not necessarily waiting on that the, uh, person. Um, and that's no disrespect to King of the Great, but you know, you just have got to do what you got to do for yourself. Uh, as far as carrying the show on and all that stuff, he's still my right hand man. No love lost, nothing like that. Um, but shit, we're going to get right into it. I mean, I don't have an album to review for you guys today. Um, as, as I said, it had been hectic and busy and all that good stuff. But um, we're going to get to some music uh, just really quickly, and we'll come back with the section of all things hip hop. We got a couple good things for y'all um, as far as that goes. And then we got the technology segment and all the releases and any uh, shows that are happening. Within Texas, I can do clothing alerts as far as brands that I just necessarily pay attention to and different things. And there's a couple of new things we're doing with the blog as well, flopinginertia.tumblr.com. So here's up right after the break. We're going to play a song, Bound To by Kanye West from the Yeezus album, and we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Niggas lame and you know it now. When a real nigga hold you down, you supposed to drown. Bam. Bam. Uh-huh, honey. What you doing in the club on a Thursday? She said she only here for a girl birthday. They order champagne but still look thirsty. Rock forever 21 but just turned 30. I know I got a bad reputation. Walk around always mad reputation. Leave a pretty girl sad reputation. Start a fight club, bad reputation. I turned the nightclub bad at a basement. I turned the plane around, your ass keep complaining. How you gonna be mad on vacation? Ducking one around all these Jamaicans. Uh, this that prom shit. This that what we do, don't tell your mom shit. This that red cup all on the lawn shit. Got a fresh cut straight out the salon, bitch. Close your eyes and let the word paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Bam. Spunk on a mink. I mean, damn, what would you roam me, roam me, roam me, roam think? Hey, you remember where we first met? Okay, I don't remember where we first met, but hey, admitting is the first step. Hey, hey, you know, ain't nobody perfect, and I know with the hoes I got the worst rep, but hey, the backstroke I'm trying perfect. Hey, 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 yo, we made the Thanksgiving. So, hey, maybe we can make it to Christmas. 
She asked me what I wish for on my wish list. Have you ever asked your bitch for other bitches? Maybe we could still make it to the church steps. But first, you gon' remember how to forget. After all these long adverses. I'm tired, you tired. Jesus wept. Jerome's in the house, watch your mouth. Jerome's in the house, watch your mouth. Your mouth, your mouth. Bam. Bam. Uh-huh, honey. And you are now rock and fly radio, the best in culture, the best in the world. I am Imperial Carter, your host with the mostest. I don't know why I'm saying that shit. <laughs> we got the uh, section all things hip hop, man. First off, um, John Singleton's uh, up for directing Tupac, the Tupac biopic. It was currently um, in production. They scrapped the whole script, and I guess bringing John Singleton in to direct it. He gets to write, uh, direct, or rewrite because there was already a script, but he's going to rewrite and probably keep portions of the last script and produce the biopic a production film uh is scheduled to begin june 2014 so i'm curious to see how this is going to turn out and who they're going to get to play tupac um to, to tupac they got to play tupac in the notorious pig movie i mean he was all right i guess he captured maybe the intensity of tupac but not necessarily the duality um it kind of made him seem just like a thug but we'll definitely see how the new movie turns out you know tupac is actually my favorite rapper myself and my right hand man's uh kids of the great it's his favorite rapper as well um, so I'm definitely uh, I'm extremely curious to see how this is going to turn out. Um, next up <laughs> is some strange hip hop news. Cameron and uh, Juju, she's the CEO of Candy uh, Jewels Hair. I'm not sure really what that is. I guess it's a jewelry for hair or whatever. But uh, he's partnered up with her to release a line of capes. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely not sure what that shit is about. I can't really imagine too many people needing capes except for pimps and maybe the count from fucking Sesame Street. <laughs> How many times was I slap you, camera for that stupid shit? One, ah, 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 ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure, man. People come up with some crazy shit sometimes, but to each his own. This is also the same guy that made Pete uh, popular in the mid-2000s as a part of the Dipset movement. So anything is possible, man. Uh, us here in... Or the urban environment, the urban culture are definitely easily influenced. So I wouldn't be surprised if I see a dude walking down the street in some skinny jeans and a fucking leopard cape <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> that shit would not surprise me. But um, teachers on, you know, cameras are definitely OG in the game. So people probably consider him a legend. I'm not really sure. I don't really have too many songs that I like from him. Um, I did like Oh Boy. Um, he did his thing on Down and Out and uh, the Kanye West song Gone. Go. We can strike it on. Go. Uh, he killed that, that verse on there. Um, and then he had the song uh, uh, Suck It In The Night with Lil Wayne that shit was extra hard um, like real mis- uh, misogynistic but you know that's how rap is a lot of the times I'm not saying it's right but a lot of music that I do enjoy has some of those themes in there so I do apologize for the celebration of ignorance as it were but you know it's the duality of being a human being and the contradiction that lives within all of us uh, which is surprising when you hear like guys like Charlamagne the God be like, "Oh man, Kanye West is a walking contradiction." We're all we're human beings. We all are. Like at one point, you contradicted some shit you said or something that you said rather two, two years ago, last year, fifteen minutes ago. So if you recognize that um, that trait that's within all of us, you shouldn't have a problem with somebody else exhibiting contradictions within themselves. Um, it just I guess it plays into being a hypocrite, and nobody wants to follow a hypocrite or be associated with that. But oftentimes, you know, as we human beings are. Um, especially if you looked at things from a narrow-minded side or from a single-minded point of perspective. Um, it gives you a limited viewpoint and you don't see all things. You know, Not to say that I see everything, but I, I like to think that I have a duality in the way that I think and the way that I view the world um, as a Gemini and a person you know, of, of um, that's liberal-minded and, and of some intellect, I would like to say. So, 
Uh, moving on in this uh, episode. Oh, by the way, man, holy moly, donut shop. You know, I, I got inspired by the, uh, the Friday, man. It's a classic movie um, for all y'all people out there that just enjoy movies and you know comedy. Of course, you know, Friday, Friday the next are definitely classics um, in, in cinema, um, especially within the urban department. But I'm sure there's more people that just, you know, Latinos and blacks or African Americans or whatever they call us these days uh, that enjoy that movie. But um, anyway, I don't know, that part was always funny to me because um, the dude, I can't think of his name, but the owner of the shop, he was like, yeah, you get a free bear client lunch. Like, that's supposed to be some sort of consolation prize for being a, a, a dime a dozen security guard. <laughs> Top flight security of the world, Craig. <laughs> yeah, moving on, man, with all things hip-hop, man, we got, oh, man, first we got to talk about the Grammys. A lot of people feel like... Um, Kendrick Lamar was robbed for not getting the album of the year and Nakamura pretty much cleaning up in the rap category. You gotta understand that just the way that things roll, especially with the um, the recording category, they, they'd ever, hardly ever get anything right when it comes to urban music. And not to say that Nakamura wasn't well-deserved, but I'll just say this, you know, when I interviewed Nakamura in 2012, uh, since his album, you know, I realized it was a different sort of sound, um, one that's gonna be more, more widespread because it's kind of sort of alternative, you know, talking about thrift shops and, um, uh, same sex marriage, you know, uh, sexual equality, and all these sorts of things, and it's the music and the beats and the melodies were a lot different, and his cadence and his tone of voice was just a whole lot different than anything that I have ever heard. You know, even him with him being a white rapper, you know, you could say Eminem or Vanilla Ice instantly, but he's nothing like any of those artists, any white artists that I've seen as far as urban music is concerned. So um, he kind of transcended on, on every level, not just the urban market, but the pop market, and he. He reached, you know, he got to Ellen, like, he was on Ellen performing the same level, of course, you know, she's uh, a lesbian and stuff like that, but just the fact that an independent rapper could do these sorts of things, could reach these heights, um, is a testament to the culture and the power of it, you know, so I'm glad to see that he won, um, not maybe not all four awards, but definitely um, that he won at least two, you know, he was definitely deserving, he put hard work in, and, um, you know, he's worthy of all the accolades and everything that he's receiving right now. He's a real cool guy, man. This is, this is just the guy that calls himself a honky on my show. I'm like, holy shit, like, I don't know what to do about it. Like, you know what I mean? I can't be like, yeah, you fucking honky, because it makes me seem like a racist. But, like, I was just laughing at his his candidness. You know, he's down to earth. He's humble. And, you know, I certainly appreciate it. Hopefully I do get the opportunity to interview him again. You know, I definitely enjoyed it. I'm sure he probably doesn't remember it about a big uh, media outlet um, that will surely change in the future. But... Um, I definitely enjoy my conversations, and that's part of the reason why I do this is to to see you know the art, the artistry side of um, of the rappers and the people that I talk to, not just the rappers, but you know comedians, whoever I talk to, I want to see the artistry in them, and then show them that the world it's a real person, it's a living flesh, just like me and you, but they're just transcending into a different level because they worked hard enough to get there. Some people cheat, you know, you may have a sex tape that got you out there, a kid that shit or whatever, but that's that's not not to say she's without talent. You know, she's not worthy of everything that she was seeing because for now she's working hard, you know, uh, trying to support her family and stuff like that. So people get mad. Oh, she's a gold digger. Oh, she's, she's that. She's that. Uh, when, I don't know. Those things, sorts of things don't bother me. Like, she did everything that normal women uh, do except for she's on TV. She got famous for it. So you can't knock her for that. She ran with it and she got more than 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, shit. Give me a stupid gimmick to get rich, you know. I'll take it, you know, I'm trying to, I've been working hard trying to get, not get rich, but just get to a level of success that, that, um, appeals to me, that, that I feel I'll be comfortable at, you know, for my family, um, and it's taking a long time to get there, but, you know, hopefully if that does come with millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands, as long as I'm able to support myself doing what I love, and my family has more than, than what they want and what they need, so, um, for me, that's just why, you know, I do these sorts of things. Like, hey, you give myself the background, smashing some shit <laughs> what he's doing. His walls are kind of thin. I might have to turn the game stage down. But anyway, I'm just talking about, you know, not judging people for what it is they choose to do. Oh, uh, about to <laughs> cut to a quick commercial break. Spin 
Spanish mommies that don't hardly speak the language. She always tell them Bobby Chulo while we at it. And she asked me if she teach me Spanish. Will I teach her English? Don't be ridiculous. You know I teach her. She said, who's Peach? What that means? Who's thing the ling is this? I told her get it right. It's yours. It's Gucci so tight. Every time I hit it, hit walls. Hit it all night. Hit it more in the morning. Flew a ring like a kite. Even hit it on tour. Hit it on the sofa. Hit it on the floor. But told my new chick a coochie not addictive like yours. Right on. Sleep like s'mores, like snores. Then she wake me up the back rubs and I'm back up and to beat it up once more and once more. Freezer was once a whore, now she got me locked, push a pro shop and all. She hit the supermarket and food shop and all. Then she taught me all, swallowed the whole cop and all. Yeah, she makes me feel alright. She do. She makes me feel alright. Yeah, she do. She makes me feel alright. She do. She makes me feel alright. Right. I think I like it 'cause she make me laugh. Go through her at me cause she knows she got that snapple pile Oh, you don't know about that snapple pile? That's the action that pull you back in when you back it out She grabbed the burner, said she dug it out She said, you think we gon' be like and Tina Turner, boy, you bugging out I told her I love you, I never hit you the Suffering your coochie in your mouth, she said, cut it out We acting now, playing cat and mouse I still snap, she come to the flat unannounced Unless it's trench coat, no clothes underneath She hold me down, stash O's at her mother's house In the brother's house, we maintain it. She said I ain't complaining, but you need to find another route. I said another route. She said, yeah, nigga, another route, another way for you to gain payment. This is so heinous. It's a shame, ain't it? I still had to move them things when I became famous. I got my babe with me, and we are game changing. We about to tear up the lane. You better clear it out. She makes me feel alright. She do. She makes me feel alright. She do. She makes me feel alright. She do. And we back after a quick uh, musical interlude. That was She Makes Me Feel All Right. Oh, She Makes Me Feel All Right by Freeway. Uh, produced by Jake One Off the Stimulus Package LP 2010. <clears throat> all right, the next thing I'll be in all things hip hop, speaking of Macklemore, Drake says uh, Macklemore's uh, Grammy tweet, which is my original point before I went off my little tangent, um, is that his tweets saying that, you know, he wished that Kendrick Lamar or Kendrick Lamar deserved, you know, a Grammy win that he got robbed or whatever was disingenuous and that was whack shit. That um, they would have, that if TDE would have won like Kendrick Lamar and then would have won, that they would never. They wouldn't send a text to Macklemore like, oh man, I wish you would have won this award. And that might be true, <clears throat> maybe not, but um, here's the thing, like, people, Kendrick's, I mean, Drake's been talking all the smack or the shit by Kendrick saying like, oh, you know, whenever I, I see you in person, it's not like which way you're saying a record, of course, because he wasn't saying like, I'm not your friend. He was saying that, you know, this is competition and I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm better than all you lyrically and just the way that people perceive me um, in the culture. He wasn't saying, like, okay, I have beef with you when I see you, for real. It's just the spirit of competition, you know, when you're on the court, you, when you suit up on the basketball court, you have friends, LeBron and Kobe, or maybe LeBron and uh, Paul Pierce, and maybe, they're, you know, they're friends when they're outside the court, but when they're on the court, they're not having it. You know, they're going they're going to each other's throat. It's the same thing, you know, necessarily. Um, sometimes you do have animosity, I'm sorry, in some of these cases or situation with, with rappers or whatever, but... Most of the time, it's just like, it's a world of words, and it's just the sparring. It's like sparring and boxing is, is what you do. Uh, but anyway, he said, you know, this shit was wack, and, like, they shouldn't have done it. I think, like, people maybe Drake's a little bit mad because nobody's talking about him. Nobody's talking about nothing was the same. They keep talking about the Kendrick Lamar album, Good Kid, Mad City, which came out over two years ago. The album just came out last year. People are not really talking about this for his Grammys. It's probably not eligible because I, I do think it uh, dropped outside of their um, criteria for when the albums are closed or whatever for uh, for them to qualify for Grammy for that year, but 
same time, man, you know, sorry I'm about to talk about you, but you're fucking <laughs> depressing R and B album. Nobody's talking about that shit. Like, yeah, a lot of people wouldn't buy it, but nobody really cares. It's not standing the test of time as of right now. That's not to say that Drake's not a, a great artist. I'm sure he is, you know, for most people. And there's a lot of songs that he has that I do like. Well, not a lot. There's a few, probably like five. Um, but, you know, he's definitely a talented guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not hating on him or anything. I'm just simply stating my opinion. But for me, you know, the album was really depressing. Um, it did have great melodies and a, a lot more usage of his singing, which he said he was never going to make a non-singing album or a, a album that he didn't have singing on it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I did prefer the bars, and he's gotten better lyrically. Um, I just wish they had some of the aggression that he had on, on, on Take Care. That would have been a little bit better for me. But, you know, you do have to progress, so we'll see what he turns into. You know, certainly a more popular artist. You know, that's how people sell records is through the melodies and things like that. Um, but moving on to all things hip-hop is the last thing I got for that particular segment. Um, Xbox and Nas are in the talks to produce a show uh, entitled Street Dreams, loosely based on Nas' life. It's scheduled to be a half-hour show. Um, it will be directed by Jonathan Levine. He directed Seth Rogen's uh, 50-50 um, with, uh, what's his name, Jordan, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And then um, Nas will contribute music and write into the show. And his uh, his manager will be executive producer. Producing. So we'll definitely see how that turns out, man. Um, I know Xbox has uh, a little bit of interest in hip hop. I know they did some things with XV, uh, uh, like South by Southwest and stuff like that. So we'll see. I mean, I have to see how invested they are in hip hop. But, you know, it's a good step forward. And, and Nas, you know, being the legendary rapper, uh, hip hop musician that he is, um, is definitely a step in the right direction, man. Uh, we'll see. It seems Nas trying to expand his um, portfolio, man. I know he's got that website that he shares with a. Uh, uh, what's the dude's name? Um, not Paul or Chris Paul, but Blake Griffin. Um, they have a, like a hip hop a sort of website, and they send you like you have to sign up for it. And they send you like this little care package every month. Um, I was gonna do it, but I don't have the money for it right now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I know he's doing some other things. He got the partnership with Hennessy. And he's got a couple things that he's doing. Um, so you know, that's, oh, he's, he's opened up a shoe store in Las Vegas. So shout out to Nas, man, he's getting the CEO. Uh, man, he's trying to be like Jay Z. I'm a business man. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back uh, with the culture segment, and uh, you know, got a couple, couple of interesting things on that one. Be real, win of the year. Dmx first Zimmerman. Uh, we'll have to come back in a year talk about that shit because it's just so uh, can't even talk about it. Um, let's see what do we else we got. Oh, a couple uh, websites uh, or oh, articles rather that I, that I found rather interesting on uh, Double XL. And then we got the clothing updates for the hundreds and LRG and uh, we SC. We are the super late of conspiracy. It was three of my favorite brands. Uh, we'll be right back at the break, man. We're going to get into uh, consequence or a stat selector featured consequence. Life is short. We'll be right back after the break. Life is short. That's why I get my drink on. Life is short. And I get my smoke on. What well, do you need me to go on? And on and on. Yeah, I get my drink on, and I get my smoke on, but that could be why I go wrong, cause I can't keep doing this, doing this, doing this, I'm too through with this, through with this, through with this, there's nothing left to do with this, I'm done with the stupid shit, cause every day I'm waking up just like a little kid, feeling like I was only supposed to smoke a little clip, or I was only supposed to drink a little bit more, excuses the poor, the conclusion I draw, if I don't clean up my act like a pollution law, then I'ma find out something that I didn't know before. That life is too short, like my name is Tar Shaw. Ha 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 ha. Check out the bazaar. It gets more bizarre as I get inside the car and I open up my eyes and start to realize that I'm in no condition to drive. And so I feel like Nick Hogan as the walls start to close in. That's why I get my drink on and I get my smoke on. What do you need me to go on and on and on? Yeah, I get my drink on and I get my smoke on. But that could be why I go wrong. Cause I can't keep doing this, doing this, doing this. I'm too through with this, through with this, through with this. There's nothing left to do with it. It feels like I'm losing it. That's why I keep asking myself, what you doing, kid? Cause back I'm red and meth, had the month for the man. I was taking steps to becoming a man. But you wouldn't catch me without a blunt inside my hand. And a lot of my friends just couldn't understand. Cause when they see me lighting up them CI garrets, they would tighten up and would be embarrassed. And would plead with me, please, won't you kick that habit? Before you 
day and gone like T.I. Harris. But some of us have addictive personalities. I'm addicted to flipping verses with analogies that sound sicker in your system than the allergy. So maybe y'all need this to bring the best out of me. That's why I keep my drink on and I keep my smoke on. What do you need me to go on and on and on? Yeah, I keep my drink on and I keep my smoke on. But that could be why I go wrong. Cause I can't keep doing this, doing this, doing this. I can't keep doing this. Oh, yeah, sir, and it is Flower Radio, the best in culture, the best in the world. Go hard like prostitute nipples at the holy moly donut shop. All right, we got the culture segment, man. Uh, first off, um, I'm going to let the scumbag of the year uh, come in. This is one of our correspondents here on Flower Radio. He's going to talk about the DMX and uh, George Zimmerman fight. Uh, go ahead, scumbag, whenever you're ready. Uh, yeah, man, this, this scumbag of the year. Uh, see, this this shit that makes you mad. Tell, t- t- tell him why you mad, son. See, DMX, you know, fable rapper, man, multi-platinum, legendary rapper from the 90s and the early 2000s, you know, also known as Crackman X. He wants uh, impersonating an FBI officer just to get around traffic. <laughs> he didn't think that shit was going to get back on him, dumbass crackhead. Nah, but yeah, he's got great music, or he had. Uh, everybody know who George Zimmerman is. He's the, the motherfucker, the racist motherfucker that got away with murdering Trayvon Martin. And, um, you know, it's quite sad, American, uh, in America, that you can murder a black man and get away with it, pretty much. It's, it's very sad. So, uh, that shit pisses me off. But back to the matter, man. George Zimmerman is trying to raise his profile by, by boxing. Um, he claims that he's an avid boxing fan, and he's he been boxing for quite some time. DMX said if he ever got the chance to fight George Zimmerman, he'd beat the brakes off him, cheat, break every rule, and fucking piss on his face. Uh, so, somebody... Apparently saw some money value in this and decided to get a little fight together. George and the vs. DMX. First was canceled, now it's supposed to be back on. And I'm just sitting here fucking disgusted. Like, you're making money off of murder. Uh, Learn Jamar from Brand New Being actually said that best, which is true. George Zimmerman is exploiting the fact that he killed people and he was using black people as a fucking token to, to raise his profile. And it wasn't enough to kill the, a defenseless teenager. Now he has to go fuck with DMX. DMX is stupid enough to take the bait because he's angry about the, the whole situation. And I understand where he's coming from, but this is the shit that fucking makes me mad. It pisses me off, and I can't believe this shit. DMX should be smarter now. I know you broke. You went to Dr. Phil. You know, talking about your life and shit. But fuck on. Come, come on, crack man. X, you can do way better than this shit. It's just, you're making hip hop and black people look bad. So you are the scumbag of the day, man. Yeah, definitely. It's DMX and George Zimmerman giving up. For t- Scumbag of the day, dual uh, scumbags for, for today, cause that shit is fucked, man. It just it's all the way around, and and that's all I gotta say about that. And there was an eloquent speech by Scumbag of the Year talking about the DMX and George Zimmerman celebrity boxing fiasco. Neither of them actually qualify for celebrity, but at least DMX was at the top of the A list for a little bit. Um, next way off, we got Be Real with Stoner of the Year, Stoner of the Year awarded by High Times Magazine. Um, his hit, the relationship with Hot Times Magazine goes back at least 20 years um, into the 90s and has been awarded Son of the Year once before, as has Snoop Dogg and um, Currency and maybe Smoke, Di- uh, Smoke Dizzle, by the way. So if you're a cannabis lover and you're in a state that they're able to smoke it in California, Washington, Colorado, uh, definitely partake in the Cannabis Cup and the Hot Times, man, subscribe to your Hot Times Magazine if you're into that type of thing. <laughs> Uh, next up, we got uh, Suge Knight punches a man out in the dispensary, you know, in California. Uh, TMZ actually has a video, you know, how despicable those motherfuckers are. Um, I've been walking to the dispensary, having a slight argument with some outside, going outside, and then punching the dude out, and then just kindly walks. George Jefferson strolls away, like he didn't even run or anything. It's kind of crazy, but it's Suge Knight. What can you expect? This is a dude who supposedly, in a legendary story, once um, hung Vanilla Ice out o- over a balcony. To uh, get him to sign away his royalties, so you never know what should night. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got uh, a little bit more hip hop news. That's uh, all I have for the culture. Simmons, a little bit short, but you know, short and sweet. All that good stuff. Up uh, from Bon Appetit. 
Uh, next up, Double uh, X has a uh, great article on how to be uh, how to produce, uh, approach produce, approach an album as a either producer um, or executive producer, and they explain the difference between a producer, executive producer, and, and a beat maker. Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, the people that they uh, are in the article are just plays DJ Drama, Organized Noise, and DJ Khaled all uh, have been executive producers in their career and produced several albums, I'm sure. Uh, next up, we got the show updates for Texas. We got Bun B and Kirk Bangs on uh, Friday, March 7th, 2014 at the White Rapid. The sh- uh, show is by Scoremore. There's college promoters in the southeast um, area of the country. They're definitely pretty. They have some dope shows, man. I definitely want to get in contact with them and see if I can get a few interviews in with their artists. Uh, definitely something to expand here at Flyboy Radio. Uh, Schoolboy Q, Friday, March 21st, 2014. At the White Rabbit, I'll definitely be attending that one. Hopefully, definitely, hopefully. Um, Team Milk, not sure who that is Saturday, April twelfth, two thousand fourteen, uh, and they have the Jambalaya. That's on Saturday, May third, two thousand fourteen. That will be featuring Chance the Rapper, uh, Bauer, Tons of R.O. Grime, uh, back to back, ASAP Ferg, Purity Ring, uh, Cashmore Cat, DJ Drama, The Other Achievers, Denzel and Denzel Curry. Uh, Curry, not sure who that is either. Some of these guys I actually have to look up. Um, which is rare for me, um, and it, it excites me because there's stuff out there that, that I haven't actually seen because I scour the internet looking for brand new music. Like, a lot of people don't want to be the first to break music, especially, like, in commercial uh, radio stations. They have their format based on the research that they do, uh, surveys that they send out to a small population of New York. So then that's why they play the same 1,500 songs, not New York, but just the area, uh, the country. Um, every region has a survey that they send out, and people claim that these these are the best songs so they have them in rotation because those are songs that make the most money so the advertisers will ch- they can charge them a premium for advertisers because they know they have X amount of listeners listening because they have the songs that they like um, which you know that, that makes it a political game and that's why you know I don't operate uh, on that um, philosophy here at Flyboy Radio you know definitely when I start having commercials and I'm getting paid for it, that sort of thing uh, it's going to be based on the numbers that I do with the listeners that I have but I'm not going to be changing my format or uh, making a format where I have to just play the same 50 songs. I'm here to bring music and discover the best music that's in hip-hop within our urban culture. So that's what I do. You know, I, some a lot of songs I have repeated, but not like, you know, the first, the next three shows you have the same 10 songs. It's never that. It's like, you know, episode here, episode there. It's pretty far between because I have so much music to share. So every time I'll play different music. But um, for me, you know, I just want to be able to... to Stay, stay current, stay fresh, and know what the best new thing that's coming out there. Especially from a journalistic standpoint, because then when I reach out to the artists at the early stages of their career, we can continue to have a relationship as they progress. So then now I have this whole story that I've told um, through the artists, you know, over their career, and it started early. So that's what I like to do. Um, and of course, talk to the legends and stuff like that. I, I want to start a legend series where I talk to legendary producers and rappers. Um, that would definitely be dope. Uh, Trying to do different little segments and things here at Flower Radio. We're definitely going to keep up with. Um, uh, my block radio as well. I've got a couple new artists that I'm excited to to get to talk to. But uh, we'll be right back with all the hip hop updates. Not hip hop updates, but uh, just all the new albums that have come out or will be coming out in the near future. And uh, the te- technology segment. And we'll be, we'll be closing it out after that. <laughs> I'm fucking ineloquent today, but uh, we're gonna play a song. What are we gonna play? It's on the list. Uh, Ghostface Killer with the Champ. And we'll be right back after the break. This guy. It's a bulldozer with a wrecking ball attached. He'll leave a ring around your eye and tread marks on your back. He's an animal. He's hungry. You ain't been hungry since Supreme Clientele. Remember what you first told me when I took you in. You wanted to be a yeah. fighter. You wanted to be a killer. You wanted to up. be the champ. Scott, you boy hungry. in the booth, nigga. Matter of fact, I don't want you in my gym. I'm about to take you off the kitchen. Godzilla bankroll, stole some silly on, yo, I ain't got it all, that means I'm barely home, trail blazer, stay ballin' with veggies, my odds is crafty dogs, why y'all stop on Laffy Taffy, wondering, yeah, how did y'all niggas get past me, I've been doing this before, and now it's dropping nasty, my waddles, I did them up, them bricks, I sent them up, my rap I bit them up, for that, now stick them up, 10 for good, buddy, Tone got his money up, worth me, and still back, your bitch looking for me, what, y'all staring at the angel with death, Lie and lie, pants on fire, you burning up like David Correct. This is architect music, uh, verbal street opera, pop a tech man, flowing, got the projects, booming indeed. I ran through the tunnel, terrorized speed, 
that's when I was still in the jungle slinging that D. come together like blood cheeks. I am Imperial Carter. This is Flyboy Radio, the best in culture, the best in the world. Technology segment that we feature the Dash Wireless Smart Earbud by Braggy. Um, it's cool. Like, I don't know. This is kind of crazy. But anyway, um, it's an earbud. It has infrared T optical sensor to monitor your heart rate. Um, a trimeter to measure your temperature. Or thermometer. I'm sorry. A trimeter. I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. A thermometer to measure your heart, your temperature. I'm sorry. A earbone, earbone microphone to record your voice to make notes. Um, three axis accelerometer records your movements. Four gig, uh, four gigabyte flash storage. You hold up to 1,100 songs. Uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth 4.0. And it charges in less than one hour. It can provide three hours of music playback. Sounds pretty dope, man. Cause like they've been playing the times where I've been feeling, I felt constricted by my headphones. Like the cord and stuff, so I have to have wireless earbuds that, that can monitor it all, um, all your whole workout. Pretty much is extra dope. So whenever they come out, um, actually they do have a Kickstarter campaign. Um, if you type in the Dash earbud slash Kickstarter, it'll come up with their campaign. They already uh, have made their goal of five hundred thousand or two hundred sixty-one thousand. They have collected five hundred thousand dollars already. So you have the still have the chance to do- donate. They do have a few perks left. I think maybe if it features uh, like two pairs of the Dash earphones. I think they're valued at like two hundred dollars or something like that. But whenever they're actually um, come out for retail, I'll, that's when I'll purchase something. I'm going to donate to their campaign. I'll just wait until it comes out. Um, that'd be extra dope if they could send me a pair. They'll probably never hear this. But I definitely want to start doing technology reviews whenever I can. But yeah, definitely donate to their Kickstarter fund. And our Kickstarter and Indiegogo campaigns will be launching soon to get some better equipment and um, some things for Flower Radio, actually. So, so we can progress into that next level. But um, we're going to get into the... And just a second. 
Well, actually, we're going to play one more song. We're going to play. Let's see what we have on the list. Uh, Lady by Game, and we'll be right back up with the hip hop updates, and we'll we're right out. Like cook food, I'm a good dude. Let's hit the rascals on Pico, I'm in the hood mood. I'm sitting here thinking about all the things I could do. So what you should do is play your position for broken bags. We popping tags, so shoot game sick. We drinking eight side of red bottom, shoot game shit. You fuck with me and you famous. Kanye, my bitch, now she away from the nameless. Camera flashes from strangers, turn the range to a manger. Jesus, peace on the plate, yeah, my baby, an angel. Fell straight up out of heaven into what we into. Who knew we grew into whatever we into? That's too much. For your mental, so we snap back that game on point like the stripes on my gooch backpack. My lady ball, yeah, she cool like that. Hit them shoes, why you move like that? You know, my lady always on. She know I need it so. She know she can get all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. All that. My lady got me gone. I'm where she already knows. She know she can get all that, all that. Uh, you my lady, and that pussy feel like a haven. We could make babies, let's be creative. She say leave them tricks alone, but I'm a skater. I love her like her daddy told her no man would. I got a lot of bad bitches, she the only one good. I get her flowers for nothing. She smiling and blushing, if I don't answer my phone, then we probably fucking, yeah. She love my tattoos, ain't got no room for her name, but I'ma make room. She let her hair down, we have a stare down. She said, I'm glad you ate it, wear my cap and gown. Told her I could be a chauffeur, dick like a limo. Multiple orgasms, that's my M.O. <laughs> Red bone pretty, I kiss her from my titty to a clinic. She know my she always on. She know I need it so. She know she could get all that, all that, all that, all that. All that, all that, my lady got me gone. I'm where she already knows. She knows she could get all that, all that, all that. Shout out, wow. Look, my girl sweet like my hotel float. From where they ran through more keys than a hotel dope. The D, give her the D, now the whole hotel note. Feel like I'm looking down from heaven screaming, oh hell no. When you hop on top, girl, that's what it feel like. God. She always had a player back like the feel like. And every time I left, it ain't feel right. Cheated on her and she stayed, that's just real life. Shit. Cause it's hard when you ain't on the same coast Burning bread in the club so all these girls want toast Hoes try and wave but we ain't on the same boat They trying to sing everything that we made float She told me about the X-Men, her old boy stories And how she had a deal though, you know, toy stories Don't fuck her on a period, ain't in the horror stories I take her to my favorite restaurant, she order for me Cause she know me She know I need it so She know she can get all that, all that It's me. Imperial Carter, the Buzz of Hip Hop. This is Flavo Radio, the best in culture, the best in the world. We got to hear about updates as far as releases for the year 2014. First off, on the first of the year, we had French Montana with the Coke Boys for a mixtape. Kidding with uh, My Own Lane, the album. Uh, Mitchie Slick with Call of Duty, Southeast Edition, Zion I, Masters of Ceremony, A Plus and uh, Agi, I, I think, Molly's Dirty Water, Killer Shot with The Shepherd, Black Knights, Medieval Chamber, uh, Ace with Salvation 3 mixtape, Hot Fucking Garbage, um, Chris Gatsby, Mo- <laughs> Middle Ground Morals Plus Money, Snow Goons with Black Snow 2, The Jack and LaRue, Never Be the Same Season, No Mercy, Step Brothers and uh, uh, Evidence, um, and Alchemist, I'm sorry, L- Lord Stevenson, Young Thug and Bloody J, uh, Black Portland, Young Thug, Just Asian Design to Cash Money, Isaiah Rashad, uh, January 28th, with the uh, Sylvia Demo, and Riff Raff with Neon Icon on January 28th. Also, uh, January 29th, Jim Brill and J. Cole, Revenge of the Dreamers mixtape. From February 2014, we have the following, Archie Bang, Whenever Say Die, Volume 1, 80s Babies Edition, Prince No and Ono, Animal Serum, 
Dag Savage, ENJ, Verbal Kit, Sound of the Weapon, Vada with Sinatra, The Mixtape, Uncle Murder, Uncle Murder and GMG Presents, Ain't Nothing Sweet Mixtape, Currency, The Drive, and Theater. Yes, sir. Dean Kane, sir. Souls of Mitchell, There's Only Now, Juvenile with Fundamentals, um, February 18th, Mac Mall, uh, Manificence, Ma- Manificence and Maliciousness, uh, Pierre Vita, uh, T Lemonade, The Grouch and Eli, The Tortoise and the Crow, Scuba Q, Oxymoron, February 25th. I can't wait for that one. They be like, there he go, school boy, cute, there he go. Homeboy Sandman and Paul, uh, White Sands, and Progeny Alchemist, P equals MC2 squared, the bonus EP. That's going to be pretty dope. And I believe that's about it. Oh, we got the blog. Um, starting a new thing we're doing in the blog. We got the kick, the, the kick of the day. So we have a brand new sticker uh, that's coming out for the people. Um, we'll have new updates as far as music and videos um, provided to me by some of my PR clients. And what else do we have? Oh, uh, beat of the day. And that's about it. But every day we should have at least seven or eight new posts on the on the, on the website. Um, and, and as far as reviews and and uh, music and albums, and then technology segments, just different little articles that we find interesting throughout the web and links and videos and just pretty much a lot of new content. Uh, we'll definitely be and we'll be re- revamping the flyboyradio.com website uh, soon as well so look out for those new developments of Flyboy Radio trying to be more active on Twitter and Facebook just to get the campaign started out there Indiegogo and Kickstarter coming soon so please donate to Flyboy Radio if you're a real fan and uh, we do appreciate you guys tuning in I do apologize for not giving you guys a show but we're back like Cook Crack Man 2014 is going to be strong so I can't wait to, to complete some of the things we have <laughs> going on man but uh, we're going to leave you guys um, with some music, and we'll see you next week on here on Fly by Radio. Peace. El sonido imperial. El sonido imperial. I think of me and Shelly. See, she's my type of hype, and I can't stand what brothers tell me. Now I should quit chasing and look for something better. But the smile that she shows makes me a go getter. I haven't gone as far as asking if I could get with her. I just play love by ear and hope she gets the picture. I'm shooting for her heart and got my finger on the trigger. She can be my broad, and I can be her nigga. But all I can do is stay up. Back as kids, we used to kiss when we played truth the day. Now she's more sophisticated, highly educated, not at all. I think I need a prayer to get in a book, and it looks rather dry. I guess a twinkle in her eye is just a twinkle in her eye. Although she's crazy stepping, I'll try and stop the stride, because I won't have no more of this passive vibe. And I must voice my opinion, and be pretending she didn't have me. Strong like a chicken, takes my tail like a dog, and she was kind of like a star, thinking I was like a fan. Dude, she looked good, downside, she had a man, he was a Rudy, too. I think and poop, she told me soon, you little birdie's gonna fly the coop. She was a to be a better man.
damn, I wish I wasn't such a wimp. Cause then I would let you know that I love you so when I was your man, then I would beat you. The only lion I would do is send a bed with you. Gonna turn to send the one who loves you dearly. Cause he has loved me tender. But the latter came back three days later. Return to sender.